Tokazani, good day everyone. Please welcome back. This is Gogo Makabo again. Thank you so much, guys, for tuning in. And I also want to welcome those who are new. Please remember to subscribe, like our page, hit the notification bell. And if you really like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Thank you. Okay, guys, I want us to do a reading for this weekend. This is the weekend prediction. Let's see what's coming this week. Let's see if it's going to be a great weekend for us. If there's anything that we need to work on. What our guides expect us to do. How must we protect ourselves this weekend? Okay, I have the Six of Cups. I have the King of Cups in reversal. I have the King of Swords in reversal. I have the Ten of Pentacles. I have the Eight of Cups in reversal. The Nine of Swords in Reversal and the Knight of Pentacles in Reversal. Okay, guys, as we continue with our reading to get more messages. How are we going to protect ourselves this weekend? What does our spiritual team expect from us? I have the four of swords. I'm going to take two cards, guys. Oh, let me take three. Let me take three, okay? I have the three of staves. And I also have the Three of Cups. Okay, guys, I'm starting with the first two cards. Let's say the first two cards, yes. I'm starting with the first two cards. I want to put them like this so that you can see them. Okay, I have the Six of Cups. I have the Nine of Cups in reversal. And I have the Four of Swords. Okay, what I'm getting here, yes, this will be a beautiful weekend for you. Maybe you will have some visitors this weekend, someone that you've seen very long time ago, and you're going to be very happy to unite with this person. Or maybe this is you asking for an apology from your loved one, from someone who's very close to you, maybe a friend, maybe a neighbor. Maybe um, something happened, there was an argument, and you feel like, you know what, let me just apologize so that I'm able to move on. This is a good thing. Or maybe you might decide to visit uh, someone, someone who's very close to you. Or maybe this is you having some fun at home with your loved ones, showing them the love, sharing what you have with them. Because what I'm getting is that uh, maybe you find that some days back or a few weeks back, um, when coming to relationships, things were not that good. Maybe you were too busy to sh bond with your family to show them some love. Maybe you were too busy with your work uh, to bond with your friends, you know. So here you are, you've seen that this is not working for you, and now you've told yourself that you need to spend some time with them. Yes, sometimes some things we don't do them on purpose. It's not like um, you just decide to be, you know, uh, far, far from your family or you just decide not to bond with your family. Maybe this is because of the work that we do, the hard work which we do every day, going to work, coming back home, feeling very tired, and therefore you don't even have time to have some, you know, 
quality time, you know, to play and to bond with your kids. If there was an argument between you and your partner, the, 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 you know, the argument will be resolved. Okay. The message that I'm getting from your guides is that um, you do need some meditation this weekend. Maybe before you can even start to go and ask for an apology from whoever you want to ask apology to. Just meditate um, divine. Say your prayers. And here you are being told that you need to at least try to have some rest this weekend. If you plan to take a vacation, yes, it's still okay. You can do that. Maybe going out there is going to help you a lot as well. You know, uh, you know, traveling is another sort of meditation because when you travel, you meet new people, you see some places, and, you know, it helps you a lot mentally. Even if there was something which was bothering you, but, you know, getting away from the situation is going to help you a lot. And you're also being told that uh, before you can make any decision, you need to think about it. You need to have more time to think things through before you can make that decision. Because some decisions are going to impact on you and those around you. And maybe they might impact negatively. So that's why they're saying to you that think things through first. And you're also being asked to get uh, more sleep this weekend. Just get some rest, okay? Just get some rest. Okay, moving to my um, second row of cards. I have the King of Swords in reversal. I have the Ten of Pentacles. And I have the Three of Wands. Okay, already they've told you that you need to get some rest this weekend. Yeah, they're telling you that um, this is not the weekend for you to, you know, to fight, to argue with anyone. Um, this is not the weekend for you to do the hard work. This is the weekend for you for just to relax, you know. Maybe you're feeling a little bit exhausted, you're feeling anxious. You just need to connect with your soul this weekend. And yes, they do confirm that some money will come to you. And you're going to have some fun with your family as you enjoy this money together. And the message that they say to you, they say that you must do what you love most. Meaning that this weekend, you must dedicate it to the things which you love most. This will be the things and the, and the, and the people that you love most. Yes, this will also include your family. You know, those friends that you feel like, um, you know, connecting with. Or those family members uh, that you feel like visiting or connecting with. Here, they're also telling you that um, the money which you will receive, it comes from your hard work. And they, they also encourage you to work well with other people. They say that this is where your blessings or your abundance will come from. And they also urge you to have an excellent reputation. Meaning that you must be concerned about your reputation. You must be concerned about what other people are thinking about you. But don't be obsessed with that. Okay, because some people uh, will think negatively about you. Don't let it um, distract you at all. Because sometimes you might find that you are on the right path. But because maybe there are some people out there, maybe they are jealous or something. And then they will start seeing negative things because they're not happy about your success. Or they're not happy about what's coming to you, the good things that they see which are coming to you. And then they will start saying negative things to you. So meaning that you do not entertain those type of things. Only entertain the positive ones. And I also want you to know that if you are this person who always listens to your intuition, it means that um, whatever you're doing, if things, if, if what, what you're doing is not a good thing, uh, it's going to bring bad consequences. Obviously, you'll feel it in your intuition. Your intuition will tell you. Or even through telepathy, you'll receive messages from your guys telling you that, no, do not do this. You will know about it. Okay, I have the Eight of Cups in reversal. I have the Nine of Swords in reversal. And I have the Knight of Pentacles in reversal. Okay, what I'm getting here, um, already they've told you that um, if there is this person that um, you've argued with, 
um, you were in a disagreement with, uh, this is the time to ask for forgiveness. Because here they do confirm it that, yes, there was something that happened maybe in the past few days or past few weeks or even past few years. Maybe there was an altercation between you and someone else. Um, you exchanged the uh, words. Or maybe there was an argument or a misunderstanding between you and your partner. And, yeah, one of you decided to move away. Or maybe they wanted, you know, um, to have some me time. Or they were like, you know what, I'm tired. I just want to get out of here. Um, maybe to get out of this relationship, something like that. Or maybe your relationship was not moving forward. You know, there was tension in your relationship. Things were not right, okay? So this is the weekend to revive uh, those lovely feelings between you two. And they said that whatever happened, yeah, it, it was stressing you a lot. You were overwhelmed. You were stressed. You were depressed. It was giving you sleepless nights. You were not sleeping well, even if it was not an argument. But whatever was happening in your life, maybe you working very hard, maybe you being um, stressed about money and other things in your life or about some other people, this was, you know, giving you a restless night. So this is the time for you to move on. It's either you go to these people to ask for forgiveness so that you move on, or you can do it alone through meditation or through prayer. As you're going to ask God to forgive you um, for the wrongs that you've done to, to other people. It can be the wrongs that you know of or those ones that you don't know of. Um, you, you, you're going to forgive those who have wronged you as well. It can be those that you know or those that you don't know. Okay. Um, this is the way to, 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 to be able to forgive those people or to um, ask forgiveness from those people. If you, you don't want to go to them straight, you can do it on your own. And then therefore you'll be able to move forward. And here they say that yeah, maybe in the past few days, past few weeks, or past few years, money was not um, coming the way that you were expecting. Um, yeah, this was also bringing lots of stress in your life. So meaning that whatever will come to you, uh, maybe during the weekend or in the next coming few days, you need to make sure that you use it wisely. Do not forget about what happened in the past and uh, the struggles which you had with money. Do not forget those things. So meaning that you must always keep something for tomorrow because you don't know what tomorrow will bring. And yet they say to you that, yes, this weekend is going to be a beautiful weekend for you as you, uh, you're you going to receive some news which you're going to celebrate, okay? This will be, um, you know, uh, something very beautiful. Maybe someone who's around your circle is being engaged or getting married or celebrating birthday or having a new baby, something like that, but you are going to celebrate, okay? Or maybe they're even going to graduate or they've passed exams, you know, something like that. So, or maybe it can even be you, you know, you've achieved some things in your life, those set goals, and you feel like you need to celebrate. And they say that for whatever that you've achieved, do not forget to show gratitude. It's always good to show gratitude. The more that you show gratitude is the more that the universe, you know, it's, it's happy. The universe is on your side because the, it can see that you are a humble person. It can see that uh, you always appreciate the good things which comes to you. And therefore, the universe will continue blessing you. Okay, guys, this is the end of our reading. Um, there's no question here which will need a, a yes or a no. I think everything is clear the way it is. So this is the end of our reading. And have a lovely weekend. Togos.